And now the junior heavyweight tag team titles have been added to the United Empire's coffers as Nakashima begins to fight back. We'll see who the challenging teams could be stepping up. Wild winding thrust into the throat there from Doki. Perhaps another challenge from Doki and Yoshinobu Kanemaru. Kanemaru was spectacular last night in defeat. Tomohiro Ishii just outlasting Kanemaru in a match that if you didn't see it live and you're kind of skipping around in the file, go back and watch it June 20th. That was our semifinal and it was a gem. And as a result of that victory by Ishii last night over Kanemaru, Ishii versus Clark Connors tonight. And the winner will advance to Forbidden Door, looking to be AEW's first All-Atlantic champion. Yes, I know, Japan is in the Pacific. But Chris Charlton explained, every ocean is connected if you think about it. Forearm knockdown there from Nakashima. I agree with Chris. We're not gonna all of a sudden say Chris doesn't know what he's talking about, right? What do you mean? What do you mean? Legs hook. The producer's giving me grief off air. Maybe just write a note. How about that? Looking for a Boston Crab now. Doki's taking some damage, but I still get the sense that he's got a lot left in the tank. But Nakashima using that strength and size of being a heavyweight to kind of overpower Doki to the full Boston Crab. His fair share of points this year. Naito, Zack Sabre Jr., Kenta Evil, Goto, Hinari, Tanahashi over in the C block. D block features Osprey, debuting El Fantasmo, Juice Robinson, David Finley, Yujiro, Yoshihashi, and Shingo Takagi. Body slam on Tai Chi and a cover and a kick out at one. Later on tonight, we're going to find out where some of the big matches during the tour will take place. And the full lineups will be released shortly. Did you feel that one? Oh my goodness, Oiwa did. Tai Chi has a knack of not wrestling to the level of his competition, but efforting to the level of his competition. This is more than we usually see from Tai Chi against the young lion. The caveat to that is Tai Chi hates wrestling young lions and tries to just beat the hell out of them and get it over as quickly as possible. But does it in an uncaring fashion, if you understand what I mean. And I think it's symbolic of the, the way Tai Chi was treated when he was a young, fresh face up and cover. Pick him up, knock him down. Pick him up, knock him down. And now cover him, hook him tight too. When the veterans from New Japan wrestle these young lions, we could have a stoppage here if he wants it. And look at this. Taichi just toying with him. It's funny, the referee pats down the wrestlers, but he doesn't check the obvious, the t-shirt in the corner that historically has a red. Look at Chaos on the attack, good. This is what you do. No barricades around the ring. And Yano will just very quickly go to the back. Good night, Yano, thanks for coming. Now a six man. No barricades around the ring tonight because of the best of Super Junior tournament winner, Hiromu Takahashi challenging IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion Taiji Ishimori for the title as Chaos is beating the hell out of the House of Torture. Maybe the ring crew just didn't want to put the barricades up. Wait a minute, what is this? Yeah, the dog cage is back. The kennel from hell. Dick Togo having a nap. Blissful rest. 
Well, how he wound up in that state. Both of unconsciousness. And within the cage, as of yet unknown. Double tackle puts Ujiro down. And Yo with the emphasis. A little extra on that one. Percussion section. The war drums echoing out throughout Cork and Hall. Can you keep a beat? Well, you're in. Evil Sparta. Well, wait, okay, so is Dick Togo still in the cage? And a play called for the United Empire was attacked aggressively. Bell sound. So we don't begin this match with one in and one out. In fact, it's three on three. Big collision between the United Empire partners. And Ari running into the ring post by Massive Heater is Master Watto dialing up some mid kicks and putting Francesco Akira down. Akira made history last night, the youngest man to ever hold championship hardware in New Japan Pro Wrestling at just 22 years old. Chris Charlton told me a little known fact. First, let's see this. Plancha, but he gets back in. Springboard uppercut forearm on the way, but TJP will say no. And on the face. And now Hanare going after Giotto. TJP sliding across. Breaking the record of Akira last night of Nick Aldis, believe it or not, who had a cup of coffee with the tag team titles. And he was in TNA. What was he called? Magnus back then? Something like that? Anyway, now Akira is the youngest at just 22 to hold the title in New Japan. Ah, uh, Kira. Ah, uh, Kira. Also, rambunctious. That's a good word. I hadn't used that one in a while. The drop kick puts Shingo into the ropes, but that only propels him forward with the shoulder tackle. Driving right through Kosei Fujita. Here's a cover. Kick out at two. Marty Asami, the referee for this match. I started giving my son driving lessons the other day. Backdrop. The way I should have started was showing him videos of how Marty drives the bus and say, don't do this. But I went with the more traditional. Take him to the church parking lot. Bushi, hello. During the best of Super Junior Tournament, Bushi kicked Master Watto so hard in the back that the lace prints from his boot were the welt. And the tag to Tetsuya Naito, birthday boy tomorrow. Now hammering with elbows. We could see a lot of this during the G1. Tetsuya Naito put himself on the clock by saying after last year and the disappointment of not being in the main event of Wrestle Kingdom, that he would. And now 
Oishi opening up. He is blistering him in the corner, and Marty Asami is begging Ishii to get out of that corner. Chop exchange, and now Clark changing it up. Oh, he didn't go down. Boy, the quick feet of Clark able to reposition just in the nick of time as she runs into the clothesline. The extinction elbow. Ah. Larian turns Ishimori inside out. <laughs> oh, into the exposed corner. And at the 30 minute mark, now Hiromu Takahashi could go. Time bomb, got it. Time bomb, leg is hooked, two, he has, oh, just barely, just barely got that right shoulder up. Thirteen hundred and eighty. Capacity crowd here at Cork and Hall tonight. Time up to, oh no! And into bone lock, oh no! How much more pain can Hiromu Takahashi withstand? And now Bloody Cross. Wait a minute, Hiromu hits a stunner. That stunner that he was using during the tail end of the best of Super Junior Tournament. What a battle this has been. Over 30 minutes of action. 